Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will be going over the tutorial on how you guys can FTP your games. Now this is an alternate method to downloading your games. Uh, the other option is the USB option, which I made a bunch of tutorials on. Uh, this FTP process requires no USB at all and everything happens on the network. Now before we move on with the video, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel a lot. So now let's move on with the tutorial. All right, so the first thing that you guys want to do is to go on over to Multiman, right here. Okay, so now that we're in Multiman, what we're going to do is we will go on over to FTP service. So by default, this is going to be either five minutes or one minute. I can't, I don't really remember, but we do need to uh, select enable no timeout because we don't want our FTP service to shut down after five minutes because this is going to take more than five minutes so we're going to click on enable no timeout okay and then after that we're going to go on over to system information and we're going to write down the IP address that's written over there because we're going to be needing that when we move on over to the next step Okay, so after that's done, we will now move on over to the laptop. Okay, so for the next step, we're going to be needing this program right here called Windows SCP or WinSCP. You can use FileZilla or any other FTP service. I prefer WinSCP. Okay. Now over here, we have uh, these two files right here. This is the game that I'm going to be uh, FTP for this tutorial and this is the wrap file uh, for the game the download link for this uh, win SCP will be in the description box below and you guys can go ahead and download Windows SCP the, the setup is pretty easy it's pretty straightforward and it's really self-explanatory so now we're going to start the program here we're going to click on FTP no encryption now right here you're going to be writing your IP address and then you're going to click on anonymous login and this pop-up should op appear and you're just going to click on this and uh, your PC or laptop is going to be connected to your PlayStation 3 okay so right here uh, this is my laptop like the, the files and everything that's on my laptop and this right here is the PlayStation, as you guys can see. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go on over to Dev HDD Zero, right here, and then we're going to go down over to the Packages folder, and right here we're going to be. Let me just adjust this. We're going to take this file right here. This is the actual PKG file that we guys that we want. We're transferring over to the Packages folder right here. Click on OK. And there we go. Our file is being transferred over to the PlayStation. Now, this process is really dependent on your um, internet connection. If you have a very poor internet connection, this is going to take a very long time. Uh, but if you have a very good internet connection, it will take 30 to 25 minutes. You can also speed up this process by using an ethernet cable. Fortunately, I don't really have the ethernet cable, otherwise I would have shown uh, how to use the ethernet cable for in this tutorial as well. Now this will take some time, as you guys can see. Let it breathe and be back once it's done. All right, so now that the main transferring is done, what we, got, what we can do is go back and then go on over to Xdata and then transfer the wrap file from our PC over to the PlayStation. So as you guys can see, you can drag and drop, and there we go. The file has been transferred. Okay, so now that everything's done, we can go ahead and terminate our session, click on yes, and we'll move on over to the PlayStation. Okay, now that everything's done, we can go ahead and back out of Multiman and click on, click on quit. And we're back on the XMB screen. We're gonna scroll up, go to Package Manager, Go to install and go to PS3 system storage and download the package file and this will take some time so we'll be back once it's done. 
Okay, so after the file has been downloaded, we can go on ahead. And as you guys can see, this is the game. We can go on ahead and boot it up. As you can see, the game works. It's proper, properly licensed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. Please be sure to like and subscribe. This is Mod, signing off.